What do you like the most about being a nurse? That's mostly why I decided to switch jobs. <laughs> Would this be weird if I wore this Target? Good morning, everyone. Got another Starbucks coffee like I always do. I'm like so obsessed with these now. But I had to run some errands. I had to go sign something in Fullerton. So that's what I did this morning with my sister. And then I actually picked up food for my grandparents and right next to it was my first work. I'm gonna show you the, this is Pokey Place. I didn't work there for very long because I went to Disney. Right now I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna get some, make some chicken noodle soup because my family is sick, so I'm gonna try to do that because I never cook. And I feel like chicken noodle soup is super easy. And then I do need to pick up something from Best Buy. It's a camera stand, so hopefully it helps whenever I'm vlogging in the car. But whenever I move, like the camera will like fly. Usually one of the screws comes loose and then I have a lot of issues with it. So I'm gonna go to Best Buy first and then I'm gonna go to or Trader Joe's to get some groceries. First of all, I normally don't listen to this music, but I don't know, kind of feel it today. There's so many people. The line here is insane. They said it's usually going to take 10 minutes, but I feel like it's going to take way longer than that. Really, the only thing I bought is this Gorilla Pod suction cup arm thing. It's supposed to just like hook onto my car. So it kind of blows at the fact that this is gonna take forever. I'm gonna look up some chicken noodle soup. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. Nobody in my family cooks except for my grandma. So we never have food in the house and we always get takeout. So I decided maybe today that I'll try and cook. Uh, Jasmine. Thank God, I finally got it. So this is what I got from Best Buy that I waited so damn long for. Okay. Oh, if I can open it. this like vegetable mix that has the like, carrots, onion, and celery. So I just bought this to like toss in here and that'll be super quick. Hopefully this turns out okay. I just kind of eyeballed all the ingredients and stuff. It looks promising. It looks healthy. Taste test because it's been cooking for a little bit now. So let's see how it tastes. Hopefully the broth tastes okay because I put a bunch of salt after I tasted it the first time. The first time it tasted like water. Mmm. Still missing something. So I melted this chocolate. Oh shoot, it's not dry. Oh look, I'm making cocoa bombs. With a plastic, the whole we don't so I put these in the fridge and hopefully they'll pop out. Okay, so they all look okay. These, this one and then another one got really messed up. So I might not, I think it's these two. So I have like cookie butter, vanilla, and chocolate. I bet you this is just going to look nice, but probably not taste as amazing as it looks. Hey, what's up, everyone? So it's a little while later. It's about 4 p.m. right now. Maybe like two or three days ago, I put up a Instagram story, and a couple of you had asked me some questions, so I'm going to go ahead 
and answer them right now. If you didn't get the opportunity to ask me some questions, um, I will probably be posting another um, Q&A. Don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jazz the Nurse and I will get your question answered next time. So let's just get into the questions. The first question is by It's Queenie and she asks, what do you like the most about being a nurse? It's like a really interesting question. I don't think anyone's actually asked me this before. I could be a generic bitch and be like, you know, I love helping people. I always keep it real on this channel, so. I like the versatility of nursing. I think the best part is that, so first and foremost, I'm always an ER nurse and that's my primary job. And with ER, there's so much that we learn. We do peds, we do geriatric, we do psych, we do neonatal, we do everything. And that's hard. I can't even deny that it's hard. There are codes all the time and it really gets your adrenaline pumping and it's really exciting and you learn so much and you, I think what about, what I really like about ER is the fact that you constantly see the effects of your work. So take for example, one of my patients, my probably my very first TPA patient ever who had a stroke. Um, when we gave her TPA, half of her body was essentially um, she didn't really have very much movement in her left arm and then after we gave her the TPA she started moving all her extremities like normal and I thought that was crazy it was insane to see that that effect so I like seeing the effects of people but I think what's really nice about more particularly nursing is the fact that I can always do something mindless so take for example I used to um, do flu shots. Flu shots are mindless. You give them the shot, you tell them the adverse effects, um, you send them on your way, and it's very, very simple. Versatility it offers. There's some very easy jobs, very difficult jobs, and I think especially with what's going on in the world right now, I like the fact that it's something that contributes to society. So cliche. Oh my god, I hate myself for saying that. It's Amy asks, why the company change? So I got this question quite a bit ever since I changed jobs. So if you didn't know, I worked at a small community hospital um, and I recently changed to a bigger company. Um, let me first off say that I didn't change departments at all. I'm still working in the same department and I'm still a nurse. I know a lot of people got confused thinking that I quit nursing. I definitely didn't. But the short answer would be the opportunity. Working for a bigger company offers you one, more money, two, more resources. And I was just so, so tired of first of all being on nights and I was so, so tired of being constantly short staffed. And I think at the end of the day that becomes a safety issue and it put my license at risk. That's mostly why I decided to switch jobs because this company, um, unlike a lot of the small companies that are hospitals, they allocated enough money for their budget so they're able to staff us well. So regardless of how busy it is, I am happy that we're actually staffed. That at my old hospital, the ratio was four patients to one nurse. It's now three nurses to one, three nurse, three patients to one nurse, which makes a big, big difference in terms of safety and just like patient, um, outcomes. So Aloes asked tips on starting out in the ED. Gosh, I really want to make a whole video on this, but I guess I can give you like the shorthand spark notes version of it. For people who are still in nursing school or thinking about applying to nursing school, I 10 out of 10 recommend taking an EMT and that can give you the opportunity to either work on a rig or work as an EMT tech, which is our um, equivalent of CNAs in the ED. But as a tech, you do a lot more, you do EKGs, you can do um, splints. It's a lot more exciting and a lot more beneficial for people who particularly want to work in the ED. That is one tip. If you're already graduated from nursing school, I 10 out of 10 recommend that you get your ACLS, PALS, and obviously you have to have your VLS. And those will set you much more apart from the other candidates. Little Nurse Steffs asks, when are you coming when are you going to come back north? Oh my gosh, I really want to go to NorCal, actually move out to NorCal. <sighs> Somebody convinced me that I really want to move to NorCal because it's just, it's such an adventure there and it's so different. And I love, particularly I went to San Francisco, so it's a little bit different everywhere you go, but it's interesting that people are so cultured there and I love that so much. And they have like amazing food and the weather's a little bit different. So maybe it'll be a good change of pace for me. Yeah. 
much, much, much later. So we drew our, our secret Santa. Hey mom. You have to check to make sure you even get yourself. I don't know. Crazy. Crazy. Listen, <laughs> make sure it's not yourself. That's why you gotta make sure. Then we'll have to reshuffle. If I get myself. Because technically we're all supposed to pick it and then we're supposed to open it. Okay. Let me see who I got. <laughs> 